Greetings, fellow history enthusiasts, and welcome to 10 Ancient Tombs That Archaeologists Can't Find on Exciting Archaeology News. I'm delighted to have you on this thrilling journey through time as we explore the enigmatic burial sites that have left even the most skilled archaeologists scratching their heads. Join us as we unravel the mysteries surrounding these ancient tombs, each shrouded in questions that have remained unanswered for generations. These cryptic sites hold the potential to reshape our understanding of history, and today, you'll be a part of our quest to reveal their hidden secrets. But before we embark on this adventure, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an episode of astounding discoveries and perplexing puzzles. Let's delve into the captivating world of these unfound ancient tombs. Deep in the annals of history, the forgotten tomb of Thutmose II remains a riddle that has perplexed even the most skilled archaeologists. Thutmose II, born to Pharaoh Thutmose I and a secondary wife named Mutnafret, faced an unusual path to the throne. To secure his rule, Thutmose II strategically decided to marry his half-sister and cousin, Hatshepsut, a prominent and influential figure in Egypt. Yet, this arrangement was not solely for love. It was a cunning political move to bolster his reign. Together, they had a daughter, Neferur, but Thutmose II's only son and heir, Thutmose III, was born to Iset, one of his secondary wives. But the intrigue doesn't end there. After his death, Hatshepsut took the controversial step of erasing his name from monuments and temples. Only after her demise did her son, Thutmose III, attempt to restore his father's legacy, creating confusion in the historical record. As for Thutmose II's enduring legacy, it is further obscured by the actions of his queen, Hatshepsut. She erased his name from many monuments, making it difficult to distinguish his contributions. Only a few monuments, like the limestone gateway at Karnak, remain attributed to him. Tragically, these blocks were later repurposed by Amenhotep III as a foundation, erasing even more of Thutmose II's history. Thutmose II's story is one of intrigue and enigma. He lies in rest today, without a royal tomb or mortuary temple. His mummified remains were discovered among a cache of royal mummies at Deir el-Bahari in a state of severe deterioration. His frail body, marked by a mysterious disease, is a testament to the secrets that still linger in the dusty corridors of history. The quest for the tomb of Alexander the Great, one of history's most iconic figures, is a tantalizing enigma. His death in Babylon in 323 BCE sparked debates about his burial place. Some say he wished to rest in the Euphrates River, while others claim he died by poison. Throughout history, Tantalizing theories have swirled about the location of his tomb. Some speculate it's in Sidon, Lebanon, as a stone sarcophagus adorned with his imagery was discovered there. Yet scholars debate its authenticity. The Siwa Oasis in Egypt is another contender, as Alexander wanted to be buried there. However, the evidence leans towards Alexandria as his final resting place. After his death, his heirs vied for his body, with plans to bury him in their respective kingdoms. Ptolemy, Egypt's future ruler, diverted Alexander's remains to Memphis, eventually placing them in Soma, a mausoleum in Alexandria's royal quarter. Over the centuries, legends swirled around the tomb. Some claim it was raided for riches, with Cleopatra using its gold for war. Despite over 100 documented attempts by archaeologists, the tomb's location remains elusive. The dream of discovering Alexander the Great's resting place continues to captivate the world. Vlad Dracula, also known as Vlad the Impaler, is a national hero of Romania, ruling Wallachia in the 15th century. His indomitable spirit was fueled by the quest for Wallachia's independence from the oppressive Ottoman Turks. Vlad earned his infamous moniker, the Impaler, through a gruesome method of execution impaling his foes on spikes. The circumstances of Vlad's death are also enshrouded in uncertainty. In 1476 or 1477, he perished in battle against the Ottomans, with some sources suggesting betrayal by unfaithful boyars. The exact manner of his demise remains unclear. One account alleges a covert Turkish assassin, while another posits a case of mistaken identity by his troops. 
Vlad's demise culminated in his decapitation and, according to some, dismemberment. His severed head was sent to the Ottoman Sultan with the head displayed on a high stake in Constantinople. Vlad's decapitated head, or what remained of it, supposedly found its way into local folklore. Peasant traditions tell of its discovery in the marshes of Snagov by nearby monastery monks. The ultimate resting place of Vlad Dracula remains an enigma. While popular tradition asserts his burial at the Snagov Monastery, excavations have failed to confirm this claim. Historians posit that the first church of the Kamana Monastery, established by Vlad and situated near the battlefield of his demise, may conceal his final resting place. The veil of mystery surrounding Vlad Dracula's tomb persists, leaving this historical enigma shrouded in the mists of time. Hidden within the ancient sands of Luxor's West Bank, a compelling mystery unfolds. Renowned Egyptologist Zahi Hawass leads an Egyptian endeavor to unravel the secrets of Queen Nefertiti's long-lost tomb, marking a departure from foreign-led expeditions in the Valley of the Kings. The quest for Nefertiti's final resting place has ignited passionate scholarly debates. Some speculated she might be concealed behind the walls of Tutankhamun's tomb, a theory that stirred imaginations but lacked concrete proof. Radar surveys and geophysics studies attempted to illuminate this puzzle, yet they fell short of confirmation. Hawass, a steadfast believer, points westward, suggesting that Nefertiti's enigmatic tomb resides adjacent to the grave of King Amenhotep III. This bold mission carries the promise of untangling one of history's greatest mysteries, for the discovery of Nefertiti's final sanctuary would not only rewrite the annals of Egypt, but unveil an extraordinary tale of power, intrigue, and devotion. Genghis Khan, a name that resonates through history, once ruled an empire from the Pacific to the Caspian Sea. His legacy as the founder of the Mongol Empire is unparalleled, with his conquest shaping the course of Eurasian history. The mystery begins with his death, attributed to a fall from his horse or battle wounds. In adherence to his tribe's customs, he sought a secret burial. Legends whisper that his grieving army carried his body back to Mongolia, eliminating anyone who crossed their path to conceal the route. They even sent a thousand horses over the ground to erase any signs of their journey. Yet, in the 800 years since his passing, Genghis Khan's tomb has eluded discovery. Countless legends and theories surround its location, from diverting a river over the grave to burying it in permafrost. Historians and treasure hunters have combed through history, scrutinized landscapes, and even resorted to satellite imagery in the search. The prevailing belief is that his final resting place lies near his birthplace in Kenti Imog, possibly close to the Onan River and the Burkhan Khaldun Mountain. Curiously, many Mongolians prefer that Genghis Khan's tomb remains undiscovered. Some believe that unveiling it would bring about the end of the world, a superstition rooted in the curse associated with the discovery of Timur's tomb. Others advocate for respect, arguing that if the tomb were meant to be found, it would bear a sign. Despite the mystery shrouding Genghis Khan's burial, his legacy endures, transcending the need to locate his tomb. King James I met a tumultuous reign marked by resentment upon ascending the throne. He had been held hostage by the English until a substantial ransom secured his release. On returning to Scotland, he levied taxes to settle his debts, further straining his popularity. He was murdered in Perth in a coup led by his uncle and close ally, Walter Stewart. King James' grand plans for Perth faded into oblivion and his court fell into disrepair. King James was laid to rest in the Charter House, a convent in Perth that he had financially supported with new taxes. This grand mausoleum was intended to be the spiritual focal point for his dynasty. However, it was later plundered and demolished during the Reformation. The church's magnificence, described in medieval texts, has since vanished, and today it lies buried beneath a car park in Leicester. Archaeological excavations and geophysical scans over the next two years aim to map the Charter House's floor plan and uncover artifacts like floor and roof tiles, paint remnants, and decorative patterns. 
These findings will contribute to a virtual reality reconstruction, ultimately shedding light on the ambitious designs of King James I, and ideally revealing the royal tombs hidden within the church. Anka Senamun, the enigmatic queen of ancient Egypt, has left behind a trail of mysteries. Born in a religious upheaval during her father, Akhenaten's reign, she became the great royal wife of Tutankhamun. Her life, well documented as a royal figure, is intertwined with uncertainty. While her name means her life is of Amun, her tomb's location remains a puzzle. Recent DNA testing hinted at her presence in the Valley of the Kings, sparking intrigue about the mummy's identity, found in KV-21A. Speculation surrounds her association with KV-63, a tomb near Tutankhamun's resting place, suggesting it might have been designed for Ankhonsenamun. However, her accurate burial site still remains elusive. Akhes Senamun's legacy is a tapestry of enigmas, from her marriage to Tutankhamun to her possible union with Ai. Her story unravels in fragments of history, searching for her lost tomb, an ongoing journey through the mysteries of ancient Egypt. Italian police claim to have stumbled upon the long-lost tomb of the infamous Roman emperor Caligula, renowned for his madness and alleged romantic liaisons with his sisters. Their discovery took shape when they apprehended a man attempted to transport an eight-foot-tall marble statue near Lake Nimai. Their discovery took shape when they approached a man attempting to transport an eight-foot-tall marble statue near Lake Nemi near Rome. The statue's regal attire, resembling the emperor's and the presence of Caligula's favorite military boots, Caligae, drew archaeologists' attention. The Tomb Raider, under duress, revealed the statue's origin, leading experts to explore the possibility of Caligula's burial at this location. The disappearance of Caligula's tomb in antiquity remained a perplexing mystery, partly due to the disgrace associated with the emperor. Assassinated by his guards in AD 41 at the tender age of 28, he was denied a grand mausoleum or monument, causing his final resting place to fade into obscurity until now. However, not all experts are convinced of the discovery's authenticity. Historical records point away from Nemi as the emperor's burial site. Caligula met his end in Rome, with no historical accounts suggesting his relocation to Nemi. Skepticism looms over this find, with some dismissing it as a story crafted for sensationalism. Despite the attention-grabbing headlines, the actual resting place of Caligula remains a mystery, with his ashes, if placed in the mausoleum, lost to the ages. In the dimly lit corridors of history, Ramses VIII stands as a mysterious king of ancient Egypt, his reign shrouded in enigma. His brief rule, spanning from 1128 to 1126 BCE, immediately followed that of Ramses VII, yet the details are scarce, and his tomb remains a lost treasure. While some scholars debate his placement before Ramses VII, evidence suggests that Ramses VIII succeeded Ramses VII. References to the descendants of Ramses III, carved in the temple of Madinat Habu, places Ramses VIII's name after Ramses VI's, implying direct succession. However, the mystery deepens as historical records provide limited insights. A solitary stella and a single scarab are the only fragments of his reign. Even his tomb, if it exists, has eluded discovery in the Valley of the Tombs of the Kings at Thebes. The demise of Attila the Hun, the fearsome invader of the Roman Empire, remains shrouded in mystery. On his wedding night, at the age of 58, he met his end, but the debate lingers over whether it was due to natural causes or if his new bride, Ildiko, played a role in his death. What adds to the enigma is the uncertain location of his final resting place. Attila led the Huns from A.D. 395 to 453, a non-Christian people who originated on the Great Hungarian Plain and later dominated a vast portion of Central Europe. While the historical accounts of his military exploits are well documented, the burial details remain elusive. Only one written source survives regarding Attila's funeral, Jordanes. A 6th century writer mentioned that Attila was interred in a triple coffin made of gold, silver, and iron. Gold and silver symbolize his wealth, while iron represents the Huns' martial power. 
The servants who constructed the tomb were allegedly killed to safeguard its location, along with the treasures entombed with Attila. Despite the rich lore surrounding his burial, the exact location of Attila's tomb remains uncertain. Scholars speculate that it may be situated on the Hungarian Pusta, known as the Great Hungarian Plain. Attila once established his headquarters on this plain, and experts believe his tomb might be nearby, possibly close to a river or even a river bed. However, it's unclear if the tomb, if ever found, remains undisturbed, as there is a history of attempts to locate it dating back to the 13th century. The enigmatic whereabouts of Attila's tomb continue to captivate the imagination, leaving the ancient conqueror's final resting place a riddle yet to be resolved. If you found this video as intriguing as we did, show your support by smashing that like button. And of course, if you want to continue exploring the mysteries of history with us, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell, so you'll always be first to know when we unearth something remarkable. Tell us which tomb fascinated you the most in the comments below, and see you next time on exciting archaeology news.